welcome to today's video. We are going to be going over anything you need to know about brushes. What I have here is, this is what I normally keep my brushes in. It's a little Ray Dunn set. This middle section are brushes that I use every day. And I have those laid out for me right now. And we're going to go over each step of the makeup process. What kind of brushes you need to be looking for and what what their uses are or what you need them for, if that makes sense. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna kinda go in order of application. We're gonna start with foundation brushes. Now I have three recommendations. My first is a Morphe Y6 brush. When you're looking for foundation, I use liquid as my most common form of foundation. You want something very dense. Now what that means is it's not going to have a whole lot of give. There are more brushes in the area or more bristles in the area than, say, this one that I use for blush. You see, I can pinch it and my fingers almost touch. This one, I cannot do that. So it's very, I love this one. It's great for coverage. You can get great stippling motions. Another recommendation, this is more of a higher end. This is by It Cosmetics. It is their heart shape foundation brush. Every October, they come out with a heart shape brush for breast cancer awareness. This is something that I bought, not really expecting to fall in love with it, but it is beautiful. And the way that the little heart is shaped, you can really get in that under eye area and around your nose very easy. Now, more of a, a more of affordable option is the the Up and Up Complexion Brush that I got at Target. This one's, I think, about $6. I've actually gone through a few of these, and it works great. It is very similar to my Y6 by Morphe, but the edges, as you can see, it's not as flat. It has a little bit more of a round, but it's very dense in coverage. Now, for concealer, a lot of people use a sponge for concealer, and that works great. You can use the Beauty Blender, or you can use something like the Real Technique sponge. You can get those at Walmart and Ulta. I like to use a brush for my concealer. I feel like I get better coverage, and it's just not as rough on my skin. What I use is the Morphe M536. It is a very like tapered egg shape type brush. This one is very dirty. I use it every single day. I love this one because it doesn't have a whole lot of give, but it's not hard on your under eye area. The skin under your eye is very delicate and you want to be as gentle with it as possible. So that one is a wonderful option. Now I have two recommendations for powder under the eye. One is the Morphe Y11. It's very wispy. You just want something very soft, nothing too big. If you go in with something big like this, you're going to be covering a huge area. You want something small and fluffy to go under your eye. The Morphe Y11 works great. And I also have the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. This one I think was only about $3, and it is very similar in shape and works wonders. If you need an angled blending brush, they all look pretty much the same type shape. What you use this for is um, if you want to do contour, I like to use it for bronzer around the area because I don't want to cover too much. I used to use this for bronzer, but as you can see, this is huge. And when I'm covering powder, it kind of gets everywhere. So I like more of a detailed application. I have three here. One is the Angled Brush by Flower Beauty. I use this one to set my face with powder. Really enjoy this. It's very, very soft and affordable. My next option is the Morphe E4. I use this one every day for my contour. And it's very, very, very soft. And my next recommendation is the Lux 504. It's called the Large Angle. But as you can see, these are pretty much the same shape. So any type of this shape that's fluffy will work great with powder. 
I have one recommendation for my bronzer. Like I said, I used to use this It Cosmetics. It doesn't have the name on it. Actually, yes, it does. The All Over Powder Brush. But I, the more I used it, the more I realized it is just way too big for bronzer because it winds up getting everywhere. I used the Morphe R14. If you want something that's more of a rounded tip, very fluffy, if it's too... If it's dense like your foundation brush, it's going to apply the powder very in a concentrated way. So something fluffy, rounded. I use this one every day for my bronzer around my forehead. And this is my all-time favorite blush brush. This is the Real Techniques brush. And I will put the name um, below on the screen. Look how super fluffy this brush is. As you can see, the closer you get down, the bristles are tapered. So they're short right here, longer up here, super fluffy. When you're putting it on your face, it just kind of bends with the contour of your face. And this applies blush beautifully. I believe it's around eight or so dollars. And every time I wash it, it has just held up really well. Now I'm gonna go in the highlight brush that I use. A lot of people use a fan brush for highlight. I'm not a huge fan of that because I feel like it gets too, it disperses the product too much. I use the Morphe R36. It looks like a smaller version of this. It's just something I kind of do, do, do. There's also a Royal and Landnickel, which is um, a brand that is sold at Walmart. Something that, think of it like a giant eyeshadow brush. That's what I like to use. Another one that I use quite a bit, let's see if I can find it, it's somewhere down in here. It is the Large Blending Brush by Clinique. Something um, large but fluffy and I can apply it just right where I want it to go. Now eyeshadow brushes are something you can get very overwhelmed with. I have, as you can see, I have probably 20 eyeshadow brushes. But I have four right here that you can buy in store and online at Ulta or Morphe.com that I feel like with these you can do pretty much any eye look. You want to start with a blending brush. And what that is is the color that you go in first. You just kind of lay down that base. My favorite is the Morphe M573. It has a it's a large fluffy brush. It's very flexible. This is the natural bristles. The natural bristles are really going to be the ones where they're white and the synthetic you have like the black type bristles. And then as you can kind of see I'll line them up for you. I really enjoy domed fluffy brushes for my eyes and they kind of go down in size with like largest, medium, um, a little bit smaller, and then my tiniest. And I use these three when I travel. I don't pack all of these. When I travel, these are the four I use. So the biggest would be M, the Morphe M573, then the Morphe M513, M514, and M506. These are amazing. I know a lot of the brushes I mentioned are Morphe. I bought a long time ago um, the Laura Lee um, brush set on their website. It just kind of got me started in with that brand. Um, like I said, these I bought in the Ulta store. They're wonderful. Morphe, you can actually use the Ulta, the 350 off 15 coupon that they use a lot. Um, you can use that to get some of these. Works great. And that's it. If you have any specific questions about what I use specifically or if you would like to see demonstrations, Leave it in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, hit the like button. You'll be notified of all my future videos. And thanks for stopping by.